question type of question we have been given a bar graph which mentions the number of units of a product sold in three different years and the respective net profits on profits on this side in rupees and the years are mentioned in the x-axis the cost per unit in year three was rupee one so cost per unit is given to us in year three it was one rupee which was half of cost per unit in year two so in year two it would have been two rupees and it was one third of cost per unit in year one so in year one it would have been three now they are saying the taxes were paid on the selling price at 10%, 13% and 15% respectively for the three years. So here we have 10, 13 and 15 respectively. Uh, the net profit is calculated as difference between selling price and sum of cost price and taxes. So the, they have given the formula for calculating net profit as selling price minus the cost price plus taxes but this net profit is already given to us in the bar graph we need to calculate the ratio of selling price in year two to year three so for calculating the selling price net profit is already given tax is calculated on selling price itself so that is also unknown and what about the cost price it is also given in the bar graph we can calculate that the number of units are mentioned by this shaded portion in year one there are 100 units sold and the cost per unit is three rupees so the cost price which the company required for buying these 100 items was this three is the cost price not the selling price for one unit hence for the 100 units the cost price would be 100 times three so 300 in year two it will be 200 times two 400 here it is 300 times one so 300 so we have got the cost price as well now how do we calculate the selling price we will put the cost price and net profit in this formula and then get the selling price so for the year two the net profit given to us is 296 so we can write 296 equal to the selling price call it as minus cost price what is the cost price for year two 400 minus plus tax how much is the tax to be paid in year two 13 percent so that will be 13 upon 100 and upon what is the tax paid upon selling price so again here it will be s so we get 296 equal to s minus 400 minus 13 s by 100 so we will need to solve this equation to get the value of s for year two we will get the value of x as s to be 800 rupees similarly we will calculate for the year three the profit given to us is 210 so that will be selling price minus cost price how much is cost price for year three 300 300 plus the taxes which will be 15 percent so 15 by 100 times s so we get 210 equal to s minus 300 minus 15 s by 100 solving this equation again we will get the value of s as 600 rupees so what we get is the in year two we have the selling price as 800 rupees and year three it is 600 rupees we wanted to find the ratio of the selling prices in year two to year three so what do we get for year two it is 800 for year three it is 600 hence the ratio is 4 is to 3 so that is our answer option d